let's discuss the cbsc question about the sql so here's the question write the sql command to answer the queries based on fabric table so the name of the table is fabric the very first question what we need to do is we need to insert the record that is f005 comma kurta comma woolen comma five so we had seen in the earlier video how to insert a record so let's do it again so for that we need to start with insert into now the table's name so the table's name is fabrics fabric the table name is fabric values then the round bracket start and whatever is mentioned here we need to exactly copy the same thing here but with single quotes because i told you that whenever we are mentioning any character type or alphanumeric type data that has to be within single quotes Woolen also in single quotes, comma five and semicolon. So this is the answer for the first question. That is insert into fabric values within single quote F005, comma kurta, comma woolen, comma five. So this is the answer for the first question. Now, when we talk about question number B, C, D, E, these are the queries what we need to write. So, for writing queries, we need to understand the thing that we have to divide our answer into three parts. So, the very first part is the select, then from, and then is where. So, when we are talking about the second query, that is, we need to display those fabrics whose discount is more than 10. So, first we will refer to the table. In the table, we have four columns, that is, fabric ID, fabric name, type and discount. So, the question is, we need to display only those fabrics. So, fabric, we have no fabric column here. That means, the whole record is to be displayed. For displaying all the records, we need to write select and then star. Select star ensures that the whole record is displayed. In from, we need to mention that from which table the record is to be displayed. So it's fabric. And the where clause will ensure the condition which is to be imposed on the display of the result. So if we talk about the table, we need to display only those records whose discount is more than 10. So the column which is to be conditioned is discount. So we need to write where disk greater than 10. So, this will be the answer of the part B. That is, select star means all the records whose discount is more than 10. If we talk about the answer C, let's see now. To display those records whose type is woolen. So, again, those records means all the records. That means star will be here from fabric because from fabric table where type is woolen. So we'll just look into this. We have a column called type and type is woolen. So here we need to just change the where clause. That is we need to write the column which is to be compared and that is compared with woolen. So we will write woolen. But we need to keep in mind that the woolen was entered as 
where cat text. So while comparing also we need to enclose it with the single quotes. Here also it is done here. So you just need to write type equals to bullet. So this question reminds you of the answer itself. Let's talk about the D part. To modify the fabric shirt by increasing discount by 10%. Modify includes your update table command. Update table command has the syntax update. So as to what? So what we need to update? So we need to update the table. So which table? That is fabric set. What value I have to change? I have to change the value of discount. That is disk. Set disk equals to increase the discount by 10% of the fabric shirt. So where the F name is. So first we need to write discount is equal to discount plus 10. Because we need to increase the discount. So we need to add. So discount is equal to discount plus 10. Where F name equals to shirt. So shirt is also character type. So it is enclosed with the single quotes. So you can see this way we can update. Now the last question. To delete the record of fabric F003 from table. So for delete command we need to write delete from fabric the table's name where fabric id equals to F003 because the name of the column which shows you the value F003 is fabric id semicolon. So this way we can answer the question E. Let's discuss the next set of question. So write a SQL query to create a table with the following structure. Employee number CAR4, name var CAR25, salary float, department var CAR15. So by seeing this question we can see that we have not got the table's name in this question. So by seeing the data, we can keep the table name as employee. So for this, we'll be writing create table employee and the same thing will be copied exactly. Comma, name varcat 25, comma, salary float, department varcat 50, round bracket rows and semicolon. Now let's see the next question. Write the answer based on the following table manager. So we have a manager table with four columns. Department number, department name, name and city. Now the very first question suggests a suitable data type for department name field. So as you can see department name field consists of text. So the data type can be either care or var care. And that can be var car 15, car 15. So the answer for the first question will be car 15 or var car 15. So the next question is. Write the query to display all the records of the table. So when we need to display all the records for, of the table, what we need to do, I told you, whenever we need to write, we need to write select all the records, that is star, and from which table? From the table manager. Now here, we are not having any condition. So we need to leave the where clause. So we'll just write select star from manager and this will display all the records from the table. Now the third question is add a new record with the following details. So for this how 
what we need to write is we need to write is insert into the table's name that is manager values round bracket start and we have to copy the same thing whatever it is written in the way just mentioning the single quotes as 106 comma sales sales comma kritika tuteja comma delhi bracket bun and then yes so you can just see that we have written the same thing whatever is mentioned just we need to write insert into the tables name and values now the d part is display department name where city is chennai so we need to display the department name so here the column is mentioned which is to be displayed so we'll be writing the same column name in the select here instead of star which we have mentioned earlier instead of that we'll be writing the column name because here all the records is not to be displayed so we'll just see what is the name of the column so the name of the column is okay so we need to select department name from manager where so where city is chennai so city is chennai so we need to write we will just cross check whether the name of the column is city so city equals to in single quotes we'll be writing chennai because chennai is the text semicolon so this is the answer for the d part now let's see the e part display different city in manager table so here we need to display the city so we'll be writing select city from manager because we have no condition now the next question arrange all the records in ascending order department wise so for this we'll be writing all the records so select star from manager there's no condition but we need to sort it so for sorting we need to write order by and order by name of the column so the name of column is department wise so it will be department name so and by default is ascending order so we'll just leave it like this if it would be in descending order we need to write d e s c that is after this okay so but here it's in ascending order so we will not be writing this now the last question change the department hr to admin hr so for this we need to write update query that is update the table name that is manager set dep name equals to single quotes admin hr where dep name equals to hr so it is telling you to update the department of hr to admin hr so here we'll be writing update manager set department name the new department name whatever we need to set where department name is hr so that's all with the answers hope you have understood how to answer these questions thank you